Hello everyone and welcome to our presentation today. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to World Pipelines for the opportunity to present as part of this online conference. Uh, my name is Robert Hardy. I'm the commercial manager for Traceco for Europe and I'm based in our Billingham headquarters in the northeast of England. Uh, we also have Jim Bramlett presenting today. Jim is the commercial manager for North America based in our Houston office. So just a note to say that we don't have interactivity as part of this presentation today. But if you do have any questions that come up throughout the course of the presentation, please make a note. We'll put our email addresses up on the final slide. Um, but also feel free to go onto LinkedIn and find Traceco on there. And you can contact any of the team through LinkedIn as well. OK, so just quickly to look at what we're going to cover in the presentation today. First of all, I'll look a bit at Traceco's history and how we got to where we are today. We'll then go into the subsea CT scanning technology and a little bit about the actual mechanics of how the discovery works. Um, then Jim will take you through some case study examples looking at both flow assurance and asset integrity data. Finally, we'll then look at some recent developments uh, and how the, the technology and the tool is progressing. To give you some background on Traceco, we were formed in 1958 out of ICI's radiochemical division. We are headquartered in Billingham in the UK, but we also have large offices in Houston in the US, in Brazil, in Abu Dhabi, Kuala Lumpur and Australia. And we also have some smaller satellite offices that support our local operations. We have roughly 400 staff working across these various sites. Traceco have supported customers in the oil and gas industry for many years. This includes the subsea environment, but also top sides and in downstream refineries. In this presentation, we're gonna focus on the subsea activities and the full portfolio is shown in this diagram. We work a lot with clients involved with pipeline pigging. We support pig tracking activities and stuck pig location, and we can offer a customized solution for each individual pipeline. We can inspect buoyancy tanks using our neutron backscatter techniques. This is mainly to look at vapour and liquid interfaces. One of our core services over the years has been flooded member inspection. This is an extremely reliable technique for detecting water ingress on offshore platforms. This technique is now developing and expanding into the renewable sector, where we're starting to look at inspection regimes for offshore wind structures, as well as using a novel technique for grout monitoring during the construction phase. Our final service is related to pipeline inspection for both asset integrity and flow assurance purposes. We offer the Explorer system, which works in conjunction with Discovery as a quick scan, lower resolution device used for screening and identifying areas of interest. We can then deploy the Discovery to get a much more detailed uh, picture on the specific problem, whether that's related to wall thickness issues or identifying and characterizing blockages in the pipeline. So just to look at the technology behind Discovery, we're using computer tomography uh, or CT scanning. So this is a very commonly used medical imaging technique, which uses many different X-ray measurements from different angles to reconstruct detailed cross-sectional images uh, of areas of interest on a patient's body. So in this example, you can see it's cross-sections of a patient's brain. Um, so this is similar to nuclear magnetic resonance in terms of being a great medical imaging technique that gets a lot of very detailed data um, non-invasively and there's minimal disruption to the, the patient's life. So what we're doing is we're taking this technology subsea um, and we're looking at creating detailed cross-sectional images of pipelines. One of the key differences being that rather than scanning through a patient's body, which is mainly water, uh, we're actually scanning through uh, concrete coatings and steel pipelines and, and different types of materials. So we, in this instance, when we're talking about discovery, we don't use x-rays as they do in hospitals for CT scanning. We're actually using gamma rays on the, on the discovery. So looking at the computer tomography technology specifically for discovery, 
Uh, again, this is a truly non-intrusive, non-invasive technology. We can scan through any coatings. Uh, there's no damage to the coatings. There's no interference to production. Uh, you don't need to remove any coatings for the inspection. Um, so it really can scan pipelines without any interruption to, to the process. Um, we collect the integrity and the flow assurance data at the same time in a single scan. So clients have, have both of those um, sets of data available to them. Um, it's real-time data that we obtain when we're offshore. Um, and then these are the, the current specs that we work to in terms of water depth and capabilities for diameters of pipelines. Uh, but if you have any requirements outside of this, then please talk to us because we're always looking to expand the capabilities and, and develop the tool as well. So uh, please get in contact if you have larger pipelines that you want to work with or different conditions. This is a very short animation just to give you an example of deployment of discovery onto a pipeline. Um, as you can see, we use a work class ROV and you can see the C clamps of discovery as it approaches the pipeline. So we use the ROV for communications, for hydraulics and for power. Um, we have real time data transmission from discovery to the surface. Uh, and Jim will also talk a little bit later on about new developments in fast scanning that could potentially be used for screening and identifying points of interest for more detailed scanning. So just to summarize a few key points before Jim looks at some case studies in more detail, our clients so far with Discovery have found that they can save huge amounts on subsea inspection campaigns because there's no need to remove any coatings with Discovery. Um, there's also no interruption to production or normal pipeline operations. Um, so the intervention time is really reduced because Discovery can, uh, in very short time periods, get a lot of very detailed information about complex pipelines um, on both the integrity side and also the flow assurance. So I'll hand over to Jim and he's going to look at some case studies and some example data in a lot more detail. Thanks for that, Rob. Going forward, let's take a look at some case studies, some examples, and some other imagery that Discovery has produced over the last several years. We'll start off with some complex pipelines. In this particular case, we're looking at a concrete coated pipeline where the client didn't want to have to remove any of the concrete coating or chip any of the concrete coating, which was very valuable from a time standpoint on the job overall. This happens to be a 16 inch concrete weight coated pipeline and if you look at the two images side by side one of them is an actual uh, example piece that was provided by the client during the FAT section the image on the right is the actual discovery image where we can go in and through the concrete do full measurements around the circumference of the pipeline what I'd also like to point out is pretty interesting if you look in the blue section which is the actual concrete the little green or light blue dots that's actually the steel reinforcement that we're picking up within the scan itself one other thing I'd like to point out that's pretty interesting if you look down below that's actually a 360 degree wall plot uh, that was done during the FAT portion of the test the blue line is our measurements from the discovery tool around the circumference of the pipe the four red squares were the actual UT measurements that the client uh, did as part of the uh, assessment and uh, of the discovery technology and if you'll notice they line up extremely well. In this particular example a customer posed a challenge to us to inspect an unpickable pipeline that had a gas piggyback line riding right on top. Our engineers took that challenge, came up, designed, and delivered an ROV clamp, which if you look at the far right image is the actual apparatus that's around both pipes. This allowed Discovery to come in, clamp around the ROV clamp itself, 
and collect data on both pipes at the same time. If you look at the image on the far left, that's the actual image produced by the discovery tool where we could clearly see both pipes, we could get the integrity data of both pipes. What was also interesting to the client is during the inspection we were able to identify a condensate layer that was building up in the gas piggyback line which could potentially pose integrity issues going forward. This is an example of a pipe and pipe inspection that was done in the Gulf of Mexico. Discoveries uniquely adapt at inspecting pipe and pipe systems due to the fact that we can get both the carrier pipe as well as the production pipe integrity data. We can also clearly see the annulus and if you look at the annulus layer or area in this particular image you can actually see a faint light blue line around the interior of the carrier pipe which is the aerogel layer that was in there. We can also get the inspection or integrity data on the production pipe itself as well as the flow assurance data within the production pipe. Now let's take a look at a few examples of some internal corrosion issues identified by Discovery on a couple of inspection campaigns. This happens to be a large diameter gas line. We found major wall loss in several locations along the pipe. If you take a look at the approximate 12 to 3 o'clock position, maybe 4 o'clock position on the image on the right, you can see severe wall thinning as well as some, some isolated corrosion cells uh, building up. What we thought was interesting as well is you can clearly see in the lower section of the pipe a condensate layer which could be a contributing factor to the top of the line corrosion identified. In this case we had an operator who approached us with concerns of bacterial and microbial induced corrosion in their flow line. We were able to work closely with the operator using their corrosion modeling data to identify unique hot spots along the line that we needed to go in and do a 100% inspection of. If you look at the image on the right in this particular case, you can see a very small feature that was located between the 6 and 7 o'clock position. Here was an inspection we did looking for preferential weld corrosion which is a threat to most welded joints. This was part of a pipeline life extension project with the customer we used localized inspections to check an actual seam weld to see if there was any evidence of PWC within the system. The image on the, or the two images on the right, one close up, one standard, shows a clear anomaly that was detected in part of the seam weld. Not shown on this image, but we did do a careful analysis and full measurement of the anomaly detected. Because Discovery is perfectly suited to both scan in the vertical and horizontal orientation, riser integrity is another application for the Discovery technology. In this particular case, several areas of major wall loss were identified during a riser inspection. If you look at the images down below, the image to the far right shows a clear good indication of good pipe, while the two images on the right show major wall loss and major corrosion anomalies located during the inspection. In this case, the discovery technology was used to inspect a known leak within a subsea pipeline system to measure and understand the extent of the underlying problem. For the scope of work, a total of seven inspection locations were identified. In those seven inspection locations, localized metal wall or metal loss defects were identified in all seven. In two of the locations, full through wall defects were identified. 
As you can see on the image on the right, one of those through wall defects is illustrated in the CT scan. And on the image on the left is just another way to look at it as we put all the data into a wall plot similar to what would be provided by an inline inspection tool. As part of that inspection campaign, we were able to take all the data in each of those seven inspection locations and put them into 3D modeling software to build a separate visual representation of each pipe section scanned. Traceco has developed new fast screening technology associated with the discovery tool. This allows operators to gain more integrity data and less amount of time. As each CT image is being produced or built, a sinogram is in the background that our operators are watching. And as you can clearly see in the two images below, the image on the left is the image produced after one single full rotation around the pipe. The image on the right is after many laps where we finally have sufficient data acquired to do a full image reconstruction and measurement. However, if you go back to the image on the left, you can clearly see even after one lap, potentially two laps, any anomalies are present within the sinogram itself. Here's an example of fast screening being utilized within an inspection location. As normal, discovery is delivered to the pipe, clamped around, and a full scan or a full tomographic image is produced in location number one. From that point, we have a reference data to look for any changes or any anomalies detected within the next scan. From that point, a step and a fast scan is performed. If no change from the norm is identified, then that is repeated along the section of pipe until the next predetermined location for a full tomographic image is done. At anywhere within that section, if an anomaly is detected in one of the fast screens, that will trigger an automatic full screen so that enough data can be obtained to do full measurement analysis. Recently, Discovery has been deployed for several baseline inspections on new pipe lays. Using corrosion modeling done by the operator, predetermined locations were identified for deployment of Discovery. Once Discovery is utilized and obtains all of our baseline data, Discovery will be deployed annually to reinspect the same locations in order to provide accurate corrosion growth rates going forward. One thing of note in the image on the right, even though this is a brand new pipe lay, centralization of the production pipe is not ideal. Overstress or fatigue due to thermal expansion can easily be identified using the discovery technology. In the image that you see on the right, Clearly, annulus integrity was lost due to either lack of centralization or damage to the centralizers, and thermal expansion allowed the production pipe to ride all the way up against the carrier pipe. This obviously poses potential long-term issues from a flow assurance standpoint, as well as induce potential corrosion issues. In this example, Discovery was able to identify severe movement or vibration within the interior gas lift riser, causing the risk of fatigue damage. This was a particular project where we had a pipe inside of a pipe inside of a pipe with the in most interior pipe being a gas lift riser, the middle pipe being the production pipe, and then the heavy wall carrier pipe on the outside. One thing to note between the one and three o'clock position is an internal umbilical that was in the outer annulus. For this inspection, we were not able to get the integrity data on the innermost gas lift riser due to the excessive vibration. The vibration is noted if you look at the actual gas lift 
uh, pipe in the very middle it looks very distorted and that's due to the pipe moving or shifting during the inspection uh, data collection time. Based on the real-time results provided on the previous slide, Trishco worked with the operator to do some stationary monitoring at that particular location to understand the slugging frequency that was happening within the gas lift riser. Here below is presented two different sinograms. The top sinogram was the initial sinogram we got based over time where you can actually see what we call the tiger tail effect or the light blue dark blue light blue dark blue in high frequency so those are slugs passing through the gas lift riser on a very high frequency the operator was then able to make slight changes in their system and the results are the image below which are the yellow and the long red the long yellow the long red image which show that they have reduced the slugging frequency to a low frequency slug taking some of the stress or fatigue off the gas lift riser. And finally to touch on the flow assurance aspects from the discovery tool. As Rob mentioned earlier once discovery collects data at a location we collect both the flow assurance and the integrity data all at the same time. So it doesn't matter if we're on a primarily asset integrity project, we will always also provide the flow assurance data in those locations and vice versa for a primary flow assurance uh, project. The images represented here represent two sister flow lines. One was completely blocked. It was determined that the blockage was an asphaltine based on the densities provided. And here what we see is within two different sections two different structures of the asphaltine one being a more wet asphaltine that's still able to hold structure but yet has sloughed to the bottom of the pipe and then further down the line we get into a much more drier compact asphaltine that's got trapped gas pockets within because of this initial readings and these initial scans that we saw on this line it was determined to scan the sister flow line out of fear that asphaltine was being produced and going to potentially block the sister line. Much to the surprise of all of us involved, we didn't find any asphaltine issues, but here we see a significant scale issue that's starting to develop within the pipeline. One thing that was curious to us when we did the scan is, is that we couldn't understand why there would be less scale on the bottom of the pipeline and more scale on the top section of the pipeline. In consultation with the operator's flow assurance experts, it made perfect sense to them as they had just completed some acid stimulation on several wells that fed into this particular pipeline. That concludes our presentation today. And on behalf of Tracer Co., Rob and myself would like to thank you for your time and attention during this presentation. On this slide, you'll see both of our email address, and we encourage you, if you have any questions whatsoever concerning the technology, please reach out at any time. Thanks again. Thanks, Jim. Uh, just to add my thank you to everyone for joining us on the presentation today. Uh, we'll leave this slide up just for a second so that you have a chance to write down our contact details, uh, but also feel free to look on the website, tracerco.com, um, you can also search for myself or Jim on LinkedIn and get in touch through there as well. Thanks again and look forward to talking to you soon.